Today I'm going to show you how you can make a witch's hat in Desmos. As you can see, I've started an empty graph. And I've identified two shapes to start with, one of them being a hyperbola. That being x squared minus, not a plus, equals 1. And if you want your hyperbola facing the other way, a vertical, vertical and downwards, you would reverse the two. So instead of x squared minus y squared, it would be y squared minus x squared. And you can see that um, this bottom half is what we want because it's, it's got a round tip and the and the sides are and the, and the sharp that the sides are relatively flat and we we, we want to get the bottom half and so so we would solve solve for y and so that, that that would give us y y is one well it's, it's, it's a root of one plus x squared this is the positive root solution which is why you see a top half and since we want the bottom half you would you would take the minus solution or I could look at it as as every everything that was once positive this minus sign made them all negative all right of course we want the we don't want this um, we, we don't want the tip of the hat to be at the bottom we want it to be somewhere up here and so this so this um, imaginary box that, that, that you would draw between the two hyperbolas, let me bring the original one back. It's got it, it's got it's got a radius of one wide. Um, that's what this is doing, and and so. So if you if you want the tip to be around eight, for example, um, you wouldn't do plus eight, but rather plus nine to account for the one unit offset. And we can compress this, and that one you would be influencing your x transform. And so let's just pick on any any number that looks good. We can work with this one, and if you want the exact width you would be going by uh, some diameter and square it let's not spend too much time on this I'm gonna cut this off at minus two and so I'm just gonna say y is squarer than minus two And the next shape that we'd be going for is an ellipse at the bottom. And let's have this span from minus 8 to 8. So that we would start with x squared plus y squared is 1. And let's have the origin be around minus 2. And so for so to do that, you have to add 2 down here and if we want to get a radius of 8 we would need to I don't want to vertically stretch it I just want to horizontally stretch it and so you would just go divide it by how much how much you want to stretch it by square it you see that encompasses both I mean yes again two equations boring um, and the next thing that I that, uh, that I want to do. Um, I think the widgets hat that I've seen are just pure black, but at, uh, just so I, we're not uh, staring at at, um, at two equations all day, I do want to add some stars, and so, so you can pass it off as a, as a magician's hat if you wanted to. All right. Just for organization, I'm just going to move these under, underneath the folder as the base shape. And uh, I did take a trip over to Stack Exchange to 
to uh, find out what the parametric equations are for plotting a five-point star. And what they, what they recommended, if you're curious, I have a link in the description of where I got it from. They say they want, well, they recommend it. X of t is one minus c times cosine of two point five t square that cube that cosine of t and yes we are gonna need a slider for c and for y of t It is the same thing, but instead of cosine of t, it is sine of t. This is not a cube, this is an s. We are going to need a slider for that. And finally, we'll put the two together, x of t, y of t, so it looks like it's better to just paste them directly into here. Yeah, prefers this one better. And um, they did mention it's it spans a unit circle, meaning it goes from from zero to two pi. If you're looking to plot a flower, well, there we have it. And for C, zero point seven works well, and for S that that is the sharpness or roundness of this. So you want to bring that down to 0.15. And you can see there we have a star. Now to rotate it. By 45 degrees. This would be your star, and and uh, this this is looking a bit small. Uh, let's see, getting a bit bogged down on this uh, on uh, on the base shape. That is not good. We want to give it a scale. We've already used S. Let's let's call it K. That way we could put a K in front of the equation and that should allow us to scale it. And I'm just using the same scale throughout. If you if you want to use multiple scales, use K1 and K2 and so on. Or if you'd like to start kind of from zero, you can use K0. And then uh, for this one particularly, we we'll duplicate that so that um, we can add a, add a second one. Let's disable the new one, and I'm just gonna take the liberty to find an offset. X zero zero Y zero is zero, and so now we can add that. Now we should be able to move this left, move this up, and let's make it smaller. We're duplicate the 
constants for our second graph, and we should call this x sub 1, y sub 1, and then now we can add it to this. All right, now you can see that we can move this to wherever we like. And I'm just gonna change this to orange is the closest thing they have to yellow. So these are lines in place. Right, to color all this graph, what I decided is to leave out the stars because to convert them into rectangular format, at least for the length that I would like to keep this video under, is not really practical. And so I'm just going to show you how to color without it. Gonna put a comment underneath the line equation saying that that's these are outlines. And then uh, the approach you want to go here is we're gonna color everything above this line and underneath this line here. And that'll allow us to just simply just fill this one in. And so I'm just going to use the boundaries that this one is showing. I'm going to use x is minus 4.121. So we're going to need to solve for the top half of this equation. And so that, start with this equation, sub subtract x squared over 8 squared, and then uh, take the square root and then subtract 2. Actually, don't need a y equals because we want this to be on the bottom half. And on the top half, we already have this equation here. And in fact, we don't even need to use the boundaries. So I'm going to color this black as well. Bring back our stars equations. And uh, this is where I'm going to leave it. Um, yeah, I hope you found this useful. Uh, the equations to the um, to the parametric stars. Uh, I'll, I'll have a link over to 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 the stack exchange page referencing this. And and um, if you. If you want me to go back on anything, um, let me know in the comments. I'll, I'll, uh, I'll try to respond. And if you found this video helpful, um, consider leaving a like. And if you want to see more like this, do consider subscribe. Hope you found this video helpful in, in some way. And uh, be safe out there at the end of next month for Halloween.